His orders include that any undocumented parent that has children born in the U.S. will be eligible for temporary citizenship, as well as those who have been in the United States for five years. Anyone who has a criminal record will not be deported. Not all 11 million immigrants were included in the executive action. However, 5 million will be getting in line soon to apply for citizenship. And that, of course, comes on the heels of Barack Obama's announcement that millions of undocumented immigrants will be gaining protection from deportation. Reporter Carson Forsman joins us now with more information. Now, Carson, 5 million people, that seems like a pretty high number. Yeah, Alex, it definitely will impact many. I had the opportunity to talk to a few people who have been fighting for their citizenship for over a decade. We'll take steps to deal responsibly with the millions of undocumented immigrants who already live in our country. You will get. <laughs> it's taken years. Yesterday, I can sleep because I was very excited. I told to my husband, I am very excited. I don't know, I don't know because for a long time we are fighting for this. Here's for a battle that is starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Ma Elena and Antonia have made quite an impact on this battle. They and other activists have been teaming up to help undocumented immigrants find citizenship. Every year is continuing fighting for more and more and more because we have a lot of struggles in the community. Her passion has brought many opportunities, one of them very recent on Friday when she met President Obama. I take the President Obama and, and I give a hug and, and and when I stay with him very close, I told God bless you, President, Mr. President Obama. It may not be the permanent solution, but for this community, it brings comfort. I just feel like, thank God, thank God, because you give me, you give to us something that, that we are fighting for a long time. Now, the president's, president's executive action was and still continues to be challenged by the GOP leaders. And Alex, if the law does pass, it can be reversed by the next president who takes office. You know, Carson, it seems like such a huge step. Is the fight over? Alex, organizations will be rallying at the Capitol on January 15th to remind new administration that part of the new community still needs help. UTVS News in Espanol will keep you updated as more information develops. Thank you, Carson.